Good afternoon, YouTube community, and welcome back to another episode of Pack Wars. Today we're going to be opening up this pre-release box from Magic the Gathering. The set is Modern Horizons 3. Within this box, there's actually going to be six play boosters, one traditional foil, which is going to be rare or mythic rare with year stamp, one Magic the Gathering arena code, which I'll give away, and then a spin down life counter. Within each booster box, there's going to be 14 cards. Let's go ahead and crack into this bad boy. Got some little, like little tokens, little life counters type things. Some little plus one, plus one counters. This is your sweet art. Got a little Eldrazi dragon on the inside. And then within this guy, here's your little 20 sided dice. Little Modern Horizons 3 logo on it. Cool. And then our promo code is Flare Cultivation. Let me go ahead and give you that promo code before I forget. This is going to be good for six packs on the Modern, or I'm sorry, the Magic the Gathering Arena website. So there's those for the coders. All right, so let's go ahead and give three packs to the right side, three packs to the left side. Right side will go first. Got Dog Umbra, Smelted Charge Bug, Serum Visionary, here we go, nice little Aldrazi repurposer. Grave Dig, which is a really nice card. Our first land. Sneaky Snacker. Grim Servant, or Servant. Oh, That's pretty cool. A little Saga card. Boy of the Ancestors. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield tap. If you don't, put a card from among them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Dang, that's pretty good. No way! Yura, Yurza's Incubator. So, as Yura's Incubator enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creature spells of that chosen type cost two less to cast. So this is pretty freaking sweet card. Um, within this set, there's a bunch of Aldrazi characters that are super high level. Mana costs a call out, and uh, that'll definitely help for that. And then our other rare is going to be Fanatic of Ronas. Fanatic of Ronas. Two mana. You can tap it for mana. That's awesome. And our hollow is Barbarian Ring. I'll definitely give right side two points for that. A little penny sleeve up that incubator. All right, pack two, what it do? I was actually able to play pre-release night whenever this set first came out and I played, I guess, two matches or three matches, won one of them. So I won a free pack of cards and whenever I um, opened my pack finally, it was actually one of like the best cards you can get in there that's like a non-creature. It's Yugen's Binding or something like that. But uh, let's get back into this. A Curse Marauder. Yeah, that's pretty nice too. Expel the Unworthy. Thriving Skyclaw. This is a little cat dragon. 
Utter Insignificance, Bountiful Landscape, start going into our Uncommons, got Path of Annihilation, Devoid, when Path of Annihilation enters the battlefield, create two zero one one colorless Eldrazi spawn creature tokens with Sacrifice This creature, add one colorless. All right, whenever you cast a creature spell with mana seven or greater, you gain four life. Dang, that's bad. That's pretty cool. Phyrexian Ironworks. Witch Enchanter. So these are pretty nice. Um, me, I personally, I've never seen these yet. So one side it's a creature, and if I needed mana that turn, I could actually flip this and use it for one colorless. It says, as it enters the battlefield, you may pay three life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. That's pretty cool. Got Victimize. Choose two target creature cards in your graveyard. Sacrifice a creature. If you do, return the chosen cards to the battlefield tap. Dang. All right, I think this is gonna be our rare. We've got Harbingers of the Sea. Three mana. Non-basic lands or islands. That's pretty sweet. Got a little hollow. Sweet. Got a hollow foil land too. So let's give right side another point. Penny sleeve this little rare real quick. Definitely penny sleeve the rare. I'm sorry, the foil land. Pretty cool. All right, last pack magic for the right side. All right, basking blood scale. Cami of jealous thirst. Molten gatekeeper. Eerie exolary. Uh, tune the narrative, conduit, goblin, abstinent, gargoyle, arc-bound condor. Oh, cool. Null elemental blast. So for one waste land, choose one. I can counter target multicolored spell or destroy target multicolored permanent. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Freaking one mana too. Signature Slam, Waterlog Teachings. This is again going to be if I have the mana, go ahead and search your library for an instant or a card with flash, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle. But again, if it, if it was at the beginning, I would probably want to use it for land. That's pretty cool, it comes in tapped. Our rare card is gonna be Savine's Reclamation. Three mana, return target permanent card with mana three or with value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. If this spell was cast from a graveyard, you may copy this spell and may choose a new target for the copy. Flashback. Cool. Spy Master's Vault. All right, so we got two rares in this one. We'll definitely make sure that right side gets two points. And then Monstrous Void Vortex is our hollow. There we go. All right, so four points for right side. Hopefully left side could blow it out of the water. All right, first pack for left side, let's go. Hopefully we can pull a Eldrazi Titan. Got Dog Umbra again. Smelted Charge Bug. Serum Visionary. I almost feel like that was like the same order as the first pack that we opened. Yeah, it definitely feels like the first pack. All right, here we go. Jolted Awake for one mana. Choose up to one target artifact or creature card in your graveyard. You get two energy counters. Then you may pay an amount of one 
energy equal to the card's mana value if you do return it to the grit from your graveyard to the battlefield with cycling cycling for two mana discard this card draw a card a little Aldrazi drone lion's umbra this is a pretty sweet card so looks like enchanted creature can get plus three plus three and has vigilance and reach Dang, that's pretty sweet. Emrakul's Messenger. This is nice. I haven't seen this yet. Altrazi Fairy Rogue. Two mana. The Void. Flying. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 0-1 colorless Eldrazi spawn creature token. With sacrifice this creature, add one colorless. Hydroelectric Specimen. Angel of Ruins, dang, for seven mana, flying. When the Angel of Ruins enters the battlefield, exile up to two target artifacts and or enchantments. Jeezo. Oh. Right, I think this should be our rare. All right, this is going to be Ripples of Undeath. Next card. Oh, sweet, we got a hollow in here too, or a hollow land. Let's go ahead and get one point for left side. Come on, pack two. What'd it do? I think on my next episode of Pack Wars, we're going to be busting into six packs from the newest set, Bloomborough. So keep an eye out for that. Got Wing It. So a creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Put a flying counter on it, and then scry one. Scry just means that you can look at the top of your library. If you like it, keep it there. If you don't, put it at the bottom of your library. Infernal Captor. Faithful Watchdog. Dang. So, Faithful Watchdog enters the battlefield with three plus one, plus one counters on it. That's pretty good for two mana. Here's a sweet Hydra. Got the Gargoyle again. A little vehicle. Trickster Elk. This should. Alright, so Lethal Throwdown. And I guess this will be our. No. <laughs> this next one? No. Junk. Diver. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. So for three mana, flying. Whenever Junk Diver dies, return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Holy crap, that's pretty powerful. All right, here's our rare. Amphibian Downpour. So for three mana, flash, it has storm, enchant creature. Enchant creature loses all abilities and is a blue frog creature with base power one and toughness one. Base power and toughness one one. Right, so we'll get right side of point. Sweet land with an Aldrazi in the background. All right, come on last pack magic. If we get an Aldrazi Titan, we're just gonna go ahead and call it a landslide for the left side. Alright, LPM. Demon Furier. Evolution Witness. Cameo of Jealous Thirst. Eerie Exal Exalery. Molten Gatekeeper. Tune the Narrative. Got a Shatter Landscape. First uncommon is Triton Wavebreaker. Path of Annihilation. Stump Stomp. So for two mana, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. That's pretty nice. There we go. Here's a point, Deserted Temple. 
No way. Yugen's Labyrinth. That's... Dude! Oh, wow. That's awesome, man. All right. So, uh, yeah. I, I think left side is going to have to declare victory on that. This is a really sweet card. This is one of the cards that I ended up getting for my one pack that I won on pre-release night. I failed to open it on camera because it was like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning and I was bored. Dang. So let's go ahead and call the victor on that. And then our last two cards. Yeah, we definitely had a victory pack in that one. A foil, extended art, land. Too cool. Awesome. Well, I appreciate everybody sticking around, watching the video. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, comment. Much appreciated. We're definitely almost there to our 100 subscribers. So thanks for everybody. You guys have a great day.